Hey guys, it's Frozen again and welcome back to my channel. Now, in this video, I'm actually going to show you how I do my wash and go. Long anticipated, long waited, so here we go. I went ahead and separated my hair into several different sections and I'm going to go ahead and start with the back. Now, the first thing I do is make sure that it's all detangled. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair with water. The wetter your hair is, the better it is for the formation of your coils. After I spritz my hair with the water, I'm gonna go in with a twirling custard from Cream of Nature and add that all over my hair. So the next thing I'm going to do is take some coconut oil and rub that all over my hair as well. And then the next step is the Eco Styler Gel. So smooth sailing guys after this you're gonna take some eco styler gel and rake it through your hair Now I'm using my fingers as if my fingers were combs and I'm raking it uh, strand by strand um, I normally add more eco styler gel as I go depending on the section and as you can see my coils are definitely Developing slowly, but surely you want to just go ahead and rake your hair So once I'm done doing all of that, the next step is to literally shake your head um, just to help with the separation of the coils and also the definition of the coils. So you're just going to go ahead and shake your head, shake, 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 like literally your head going to feel like you're dropping off. But because I did it at night, it took a longer time for my hair to dry. Now closer up, this is the texture shot of the wash and go. As you can see my hair, you can actually see the curl or the coil, the coiliness of my hair. Now to speed up the process, I do go in with my blow dryer and literally shake my hair as I um, blow it. I normally use a diffuser, but I forgot that I got rid of it because I really don't do wash and goes as much because my hair is really short and now it's at a length where I can actually do a wash and go and I don't look bald. Okay, so go ahead and go in with the blow dryer and help with the drying of your hair. Alright guys, so I'm actually trying to wait until my hair has finished drying. I know I sound horrible. Um, my sinuses are flaring up again. It's that season. It's fall. I'm okay though, but with my hair. So I'm really trying to go to sleep. I am so tired. Had a really long day. So I'm actually just going to continue to blow dry my hair. And what I normally do when I finish blow drying it is like I'll put it into sections um, with elastic bands so that my hair will stretch my roots. So when I'm ready to wear it for the next day, it's like um, sticking up and not so much just hanging down and looking all crazy. So when I uh, wake up tomorrow morning, I have to be up very, very early. So I won't even promise you that I will show you how like I take out the bands in the morning. But I will definitely come back um when I like maybe a day or two after to kind of show you guys how it came out um, so I'm really just waiting for it to dry so I'm just gonna continue to use a blow dryer and then when I'm actually done my hair is done <clears throat> I'll come back and kind of talk to y'all and like show you like the days how I progress with my wash and go because it lasts me for about a week or so okay I love you guys and I will see you when my hair is done, maybe two days from now. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for watching this video. It's long overdue, so I had to get it out there because a lot of people asked me how to do my wash and go, and I decided that I wanted to show you guys. Maybe don't do this at night because it's going to take a while for your hair to dry, and it's not good to go to sleep with your hair wet. 
So this is why I'm trying to force myself to stay up and dry as much as I can, especially because I'm already congested and whatever. So anyways, <clears throat> I will see y'all in my next video or I'll see y'all in the next clip for the next day. Alright guys, so when my hair is like 80% dry, I put the comb back onto my blow dryer and then I start pushing it onto my roots to help lift my hair some more. So it's not just sunken down to my head, but it will have like a nice lift to have like a good body whenever I'm finished with my hair. Alright guys, it's the next morning and as I was telling you before, I do put the bands on my hair to stretch my roots some more for the next day. This is the next morning and I was getting ready for work. So this is what my hair looks like once it's dry. I mean the back was still a little bit wet, but this is me taking out the bands and you can see that my hair is a little bit stretched. It's not sunken down into my onto my head. It actually looks like it have a little bit of body going on for it. Alright guys, so this is just my hair after I took the bands out and now what I'm doing is going back in with the blow dryer and pushing up my roots some more. I really can just wear my hair out like this, but I have this thing about my sides and it looking weird as a fro, so I'm going to put it up into a ponytail. Additionally, I do take a comb and push up my roots some more. I really don't like that sunken look of my hair being stuck to my head, so I do a lot of things that will help with my root raising up, and so that's what I do as well. Now, to put my hair up into a ponytail, I just take some gel, either Eco Styler or an edge control, brush it up, and then I use a elastic band that I actually break. It's a headband that I break, and then I just use it to you know tie around the front of my hair, push my hair up into that high ponytail and then make a knot in the front and then that's pretty much it. I do go back in with my blow dryer and my comb to raise my roots and that's my wash and go routine. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope this was helpful and um, beneficial so you can do this on your own because a lot of people ask me to do my wash and go routine and that's pretty much it. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in another video. Mwah.